North Korea, U.S. considering military response to missile fired at Japan. The United States and South Korea say they are considering a military response following the latest North Korean missile that was fired at Japan. The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has said his country absolutely cannot tolerate Kim Jong Un's repeated acts of aggression. Experts had warned that Kim Jong Un may have been planning a strike to mark the 64th anniversary of the armistice that ended the Korean War which North Korea celebrated on Thursday. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ordered the launch at 11.41 p.m. local time of a missile into Japanese territory, according to officials. According to the nation's chief cabinet secretary Suga, the missile is believed to have flown for 45 minutes before landing in Japan's exclusive economic zone. Early reports suggest the missile may have struck Japanese ships. Express reports, he maintained the launch is a clear breach of UN resolutions and declared Japan absolutely cannot tolerate North Korea's repeated provocations. Three defense officials have discussed military response options to the missile launch, according to an official statement from the Pentagon. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe confirmed the launch and convened an emergency meeting of officials to address the situation. After meeting with Japanese officials, Abe said there is no avoiding ramping up pressure on North Korea, adding, as long as North Korea continues such provocative actions, there is no avoiding maintaining close contact with the international community, starting with the United States, South Korea, China and Russia, and further strengthening the pressure. He added that today's launch shows clearly that the threat to our nation is severe and real. A Japanese defense official said the missile could have flown at an altitude of more than 3,000 kilometers, 1,864 miles. The Pentagon has also confirmed that it has detected what it assesses was a ballistic missile launch from North Korea and will have more information soon. South Korean President Moon Jae-in has convened an emergency meeting of the National Security Council on Saturday to discuss how to deal with North Korea's latest provocation. The launch comes less than a month after the Hermit State tested its first long-range missile, which is believed to be capable of carrying a large, heavy nuclear warhead. The Pentagon confirmed North Korea launched a long-range missile which traveled more than 600 miles, 1,000 kilometers, before coming down in the Sea of Japan. Yonhap News Agency said the missile reached an altitude of about 3,700 kilometers. Citing South Korea's military, Yonhap said the missile is believed to be an intercontinental ballistic missile (ICBM) class that is more advanced than the one tested on July 4. Patricia Lewis, research director at International Security Department at Chatham House, said, clearly this is another provocation. North Korea conducted tests a few weeks ago which was such long range it could hit the US and they are fast developing their ballistic missile capabilities and they are developing a nuclear warhead which will be designed to go on top of these missiles. If a missile like this were equipped with a nuclear warhead and for example landed in Japan or US base in South Korea it would be devastating consequences, hundreds of thousands of people could be killed. Japan announced earlier it was increasing the sanctions on North Korea and that might have tipped North Korea's hand who knows. What President Trump has been trying to do is to get China to really step up and step in. China and Russia recently announced they would have a joint approach to North Korea but I think things are getting so hot they need to step in quite quickly. Probably the whole Security Council needs to get together to send a forceful powerful message to North Korea about what is acceptable and what isn't. Like you say they have done so many times. 
But the frequency of these missile tests and how close they are getting to developing a nuclear warhead is increasing the urgency and seriousness. The 64th anniversary of the Korean War had led to increased concerns. The regime planned another test to fire another intercontinental ballistic missile, believed to be capable of reaching the U.S. mainland. North Korea is notorious for marking key events in its history with missile launches or similar acts of aggression. The most recent warning was issued by one of Kim Jong un's key generals who called on the North Korean military to wage a dynamic struggle to bring final victory on July 27. Pak Yong-sik, the minister of North Korea's armed forces, carried on the threats and called for a nuclear strike on the United States even if Washington does not attack first. He said, if enemies misunderstand our strategic status and stick to options of staging a preemptive nuclear attack against us. We will launch a nuclear attack on America's heart as the most relentless punishment without warning or prior notice. Satellite images have also emerged showing that North Korea is not issuing empty threats. Grainy images, at first sight, lead viewers to believe the North Portal at Pungaira nuclear test facility, the tunnel site used for the past four tests, is in a state of vegetation, with little activity and low general maintenance. However experts warn it is clear the site remains ready for the warmongering kingdom to launch more ballistic missile tests. The Korean War, in which the US fought alongside South Korea and China with the North, ended in a truce that has yet to be replaced by a peace agreement and has left the two sides technically at war. In recent days transporter vehicles carrying equipment used for firing ballistic missiles have been seen arriving in Kusong province. Kusong has been the site of North Korean missile tests in the past, including one held in May. That test saw an OTS-17 intermediate range missile travel almost 500 miles before splashing down in the Sea of Japan, East Sea hitting the water about 60 miles from Vladivostok in eastern Russia, according to U.S. officials. Pyongyang, in its last major missile test, launched an intercontinental ballistic missile on July 4, American Independence Day. The alert comes after officers from North Korea's armed forces all participated in an oath ceremony on Tuesday, pledging to fight the U.S. Last week CIA Director Mike Pompeo said the Trump administration needed to find a way to separate Kim Jong-un from his growing nuclear stockpile. Mr. Pompeo said, as for the regime, I am hopeful we will find a way to separate that regime from this system. The North Korean people I'm sure are lovely people and would love to see him go.